Hi, Shoe 7. I'm back. Okay, so my last video sparked a lot of controversy. I know there's a lot of men who are upset about that video, and I'm, I will never apologize for it because it's the truth, okay? Y'all might not believe it. Not every woman is at that point yet, but, you know, most women do get to that point eventually. So um, my message is, you know, if y'all don't like that video, guys, y'all have to start treating women a lot better, okay? Um, because it only is going to get worse. That's, I'm just being honest with you. It's only going to get worse because, um, you know, that's just what happens when women stop loving. You know, things get very technical, very numerical, very cold, and very strategic. Why? Because, you know, um, it's just what happens when the love is out of the equation. You know, the equation actually becomes a real math problem and you're going to figure it out. You know, before you were just playing around and, you know, uh, <laughs> not really trying to get a result but you know after you dilly dallied and so you know for so long and not get any positive results you're going to start figuring out how you can you know get what you want out of the situation okay anyways so that video was done and you know a lot of women loved the video because they totally agreed with it and they connected with it and they related with it so if you're having that many women agreeing and relating to this a type of video that's saying women no longer care about love because you know it's not something that they feel like they can have and you know be happy with with the guys of today so they're not even looking for it anymore. They're not even focusing on it anymore. It's not something that they value anymore. Now, when women stop valuing love, that's a big problem, okay? Especially to men, you know, that's a big problem. Um, men never really valued love. So, you know, it's kind of like, you know, they don't understand what it is to bypass it and go for something else. But, you know, I think over time, this is going to be the new norm, you know what I mean? And a man are going to actually have to start proving themselves again in order to get, you know, women to love them again in general, okay? So there's going to have to be some big major change in order to get women back to looking for love versus materialism and lifestyle because at this point, you know, the majority of the women are not looking for love anymore. They're looking for lifestyle and cash money, you know. Um, and, you know, that's just what society has become, especially in America, because of how the men have treated us, you know. And I think it's pretty sad because I have daughters and they already know, like, um, if you love someone, that does not mean they're going to love you back. And it does not mean you're going to gain anything, you know, from it. It just means, you know, it's something that you have to go through and figure out if it's the best thing for you, you know. Um, a, lot of, a lot of young ladies watch this channel and they might not be at the point yet where they're ready to move on from love and on to something else. That's more tangible and that's perfectly fine uh, go through that you know go fall in love I I urge people to fall in love I urge people to love fall in love you know be hopelessly in love and get get out there you know it's nothing in the world like being in love and once you're in love you know once you experience that you'll understand what real love is versus love that's not real you know what I'm saying so most of the time that women are in love this is this is some more truth most of the time that women are in love the man does not love that woman as much as she loved them okay because when a woman is in love she will do whatever it takes to keep that relationship 
she will be happy she will just be like a little schoolgirl and blah 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 you know and if the man is not acting the exact same or worse or crazier in love that woman eventually is not going to get what she needs in return because the man is not as in love with her okay um, and eventually she's gonna wear herself down and she's gonna be like okay I'm in love I'm in love and you know I bought him these nice gifts for his birthday and he just he just got me you know some flowers for mine you know uh, then she's gonna start adding stuff up she's gonna be like oh my god you know he 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 lost his job and I took care of him for like three months and you know um, now that I need a tire on my car he's he he said he he, he didn't want to pay for it you know things are gonna start adding up because and then you're going to figure out what love really is, you know. You're going to say, okay, well, I love him. You know, why would he do this to me? I love him. That's not the answer, you know. Just because you love someone does not make them obligated to you or obligated to be loyal to you just because you love them. Love does not fix people, okay. Love is a feeling that you enjoy, okay. They might not see you the same way as you see them. They might be your soulmate, your twin flame, but you might be their placeholder, the woman that they're dating until they find their real woman, or just somebody, you know, to, to kill time with. You don't know, you know, but to you, this person is, oh my God, I'm going to marry this person. And then when one day they're going to be like, you know... I don't know about this anymore. I don't know if I'm feeling this anymore. And your world is just going to shatter. You're going to be like, oh, what? What? How could he do this to me? How could he leave with this other woman? And I've done all these things for him. That's why he left. Because you did too much for him. And A, he, f he did not want to give you those same things in return. So the relationship was not even. And B, he didn't have those type of feelings for you that you had for him ever. And he led you on so he could get what he wanted. You know what I'm saying? And once you experience this as a young woman, you gradually start to wake up. You'll be like, oh, okay. So next time, I just won't give so much, you know. Next time, I'm just not going to give my all. I'll give a little bit, but not my all. So the next relationship you get into, oh, you fall in love again. You go through the same exact thing again. You start seeing these signs that the other guy used to do. And then you get you get smart. And then you get upset because you feel like, oh my gosh, the same thing is happening. You know, why? Is it something about me? Is it something about me? And then you you start to get smart and look within. You start to get smart and look within yourself and ask yourself, what is it about me that's running these men away? And then you start to answer. Is it because I'm too nice? Is it because I like them more than they like me? The answer is yes, you know. So then you get real smart, okay? I need to find someone that likes me more than I like him. And then I'll have the relationship I want. Okay, so you go out and you find someone who likes you way more than you like them, right? But then you start liking them a lot too. And you start liking them so much because you're so used to them and you're excited because you have this great relationship. And then now you like them more than they like you. Now you've done it again, you know. Um, then you start expecting things. Oh, we're going to get married. Oh, da, da. And he's not there yet. He's like, what? Okay. She's, going, she's getting crazy. She's rushing things, you know. Um, so when a woman feels like she's with a man who likes her more you know she's going to invest in that and start doing a lot and you know just say, okay this is the one I got I can give my all again and once she starts giving her all again that guy starts backing away because now she is chasing him she's doing more for him than he can do for her and now he feels like oh okay well I don't know you know I don't know how I feel about this you know, I liked the chase before. I liked the fact that I liked you way more than you liked me. Now it's just like you're always calling me, texting me. You always want to be by me and you're smothering me. So then that relationship ends. And then you're like, oh my God, he liked me more than I liked him. 
Why did he leave me? What's wrong with me? Now you keep blaming yourself. Okay, then you wise up. Okay, look. Next guy I'm with, I'm not even going to fall in love because it's pointless. You know, I'm not even going to fall in love anymore because it's pointless, you know. I, I've paid people's bills. I've paid people, you know, uh, car notes. I've given them countless, you know, very nice gifts. And I don't have anything to show for it but broken hearts. Okay, so next time I meet someone, I'm not going to fall in love. And I'm going to use them this time just to see if I can do it, just to see how it feels. I'm going to be like the men in my life, you know. So the woman goes out and finds a man that she could care less about. She'll treat him like trash, cuss him out, because she knows that they like her way more than she likes them. And she'll get whatever she wants out of him because love is now out of the equation and she's no longer trying to impress him she's no longer you know making future plans she's not doing any of the stuff that she was doing before and the men love this because first of all she's not bugging them she's not texting them she's not blowing up their phone he has to track her down and you know he f he feels like oh she's one that I have to really work on to get and then they become infatuated with you. Then they want to do more for you. And then they want to, you know, figure out how to get you to fall in love, which you'll never do. But that's their challenge, to get you to love them, you know, um, because you're a challenge. You know, other girls will, uh, you know, give their all and they'll get bored of that and they'll be looking for the next challenge. But your challenge will never end because you will never fall in love with them. So... They will have to keep trying every day to please you, to please you, to please you until one day you got a ring on your finger, you got a house, you got some cars, and, you know, after you've married and all these things, they're still chasing you because you never gave them the satisfaction of being all goo goo gaga over them, you know. You, they don't, they have never gotten that from you like they've gotten from other girls. Now they're saying, what is it gonna take for her to just be all in love and infatuated with me and crazy about me? You know, what's it gonna take? And they're still trying, they'll still be trying forever. But if the woman has made it up in her mind that she's done and it's all about this cash and it's all about this money, then she wins, you know? Uh, it's not like she's never loved before or experienced love, she did, you know? And those first loves will never, ever be able to top anything else afterwards, you know, except the only thing that can top that are love from the family and the children that you have, you know, the, the, con the unconditional love, right? So when you have your kids, that love is going to outshine any love you've ever had with any type of man. So... You know, it's not like you'll never experience love. It's not like you'll never have love. That love will be real, you know, and um, you'll be able to reap the reward, the reward in the future with your children. Okay, so y'all keep that in mind. I know a lot of guys are upset, but, you know, they brought it upon themselves. You know, I don't feel bad about it. I would never feel bad about it. You know, it is what it is. And the fact that so many women are now being business minded about relationships, marrying for money versus love, you know, is a sign of the times that we're in, you know. Women are the nurturers. They're very emotional, you know. They're supposed to be very loving. But when you, you know, they say when when a when a woman is scorned, watch out, you know, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. So I feel like this time and this era is a wake up call, you know, for guys. You know, if you want the woman to love again, you got to give us a reason to love. You know, we don't have a reason right now. The only thing that most women are loving in this world are their kids, themselves, and you know, whatever they can, whatever they can do, you know, as far as if they have a career or whatever. And that's about it. They're not really loving these guys anymore. You know, the guys are almost like a pet. You know, which pet is the best accessory to go with my outfit today? You know, 
or what can this what can this man do for me to upgrade you know me I can't fall in love with someone that's what women are thinking I can't fall in love with someone because it never ends right so they're just gonna have to fall in love with me and take this risk you know so for all of you guys who are upset about my last video I'm sorry I can't do anything about the truth you know um, only y'all can change that we're just following your lead you know um, if a man is supposed to be you know the leader and you guys are blaming women for everything that's going on you know who do you look at when a team fails you know you look at the leader you don't look at everybody else the leader is in place to lead you know if you don't have anything for us to you know be led with if you if we can't follow you then we're gonna start following ourselves and what we want okay and y'all know what that is money okay so if you don't give us a reason to love how can we love you haven't given us any reason to love so um, you know it's all up to you guys and if y'all ever want love again from a woman without a price on it y'all got to do some thinking and some changing and some becoming of real men and not boys okay women cannot follow or respect any type of leader who is not more successful than her or who can't you know provide and protect her they just can't okay so if men really wanted to be men, they would go out and figure out how to become financially stable themselves and then how to become financially stable enough to support a wife and children if they decide to go that route. If they don't decide to go that route, then at least be financially stable enough to support yourself, you know, so you can move out of your mother's house. Um, so, yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. And I hope that, you know, things change for the future but you know right now women are winning because we can get it all we can have marriage we can have kids we can have money we can have houses we can have careers we can have all that stuff because we're not letting our emotions lead us anymore you know once women cut out that emotion they can actually you know surpass men you know as far as in wealth and happiness and all that kind of stuff you know um, when we become strategic watch out it's not it's not a game to us. This is life. Okay? I'll see you later. Bye.